welcome to a special election edition of Breeze TV. We'll be live for the next hour giving you updates on the most important races here in Virginia and from across the country. Happy Saturday everyone and welcome to NASCAR race day here at the FS1 studios alongside of Caitlin Vinci. I'm Paige Ellenberger and we're so glad you're joining us because tensions are heating up as teams are beginning to feel the pressure of the awaited playoffs however. Yeah, thanks guys. It was just a few hours ago that we saw his daughter, Nikki, grace the court of the Congo for the first time because she set out due to NCAA transfer rules. She came from Syracuse, however, like you mentioned, she's not the only Auburn Ivory to travel some great distance to spend in their time in the Congo. Check out what time it is. Not only is it 4.37 in the morning, but it's also 14 degrees outside. Over hundreds of Harrisonburg residents and JMU students waited here overnight, and some left with nothing. Thank you so much, Logan. You touched a little bit of how close these races can be, and that's definitely the case for the 94th district. Do you mind talking to us a little bit about that one and the last election that they held? So whether you're building a social media empire, buying or keeping company with a furry friend, or trying your grandma's oldest recipes, we hope you're staying safe and healthy during this time. Reporting from my home in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Paige Ellenberger. Breeze TV. Yeah, interesting to say the least. Chairs are literally flipping over here from assistant coaches. Thanks, Eli. The Harrisonburg Police Department Auxiliary Unit is made up of volunteers from the community. The unit helps HPD with patrols, traffic duties, and other law enforcement tasks around Harrisonburg. Breeze TV's Noah Ziegler shows us what the program entails. Glenn Thomas is a JMU graduate who had dreams of leaving the Valley once he finished school back in 2017. But it was a bike shop in downtown Harrisonburg that kept him around. But then once I got outside of like the kind of same old, same old on campus and started working here and being downtown more, exploring the trails and community here, it's like, oh, there's a lot going on here. It's a pretty cool place, you know, so definitely is a reason I stuck around. The shop that Thomas found work at opened its doors 20 years ago. The owners of the Shenandoah Bicycle Company created a unique environment that brings a community together, just like it did for Thomas. Getting people who have something in common, bikes, getting them together off the bike, and kind of just furthering that friendship and that relationship. Once the store found its footing, Jenkins brought pulp into the equation. For nine years now, it's a spot you can grab Thank a smoothie you. or an Asiable. <laughs> Pulp, once again, is partly supporting the healthy lifestyle we believe in, and then also trying to make a bike shop and a retail store downtown as a place to hang out. The store has developed infrastructure, created mountain bike trails, and organized group rides. This shop, you feel like you're supporting all the things they're doing out in the community. At the heart of it all is a passion for biking. It's, it's kind of cool because you like get a break from the same old, same old, the mundane aspects of, of life and you get to go basically be a kid and play around with people, you know, whether it's in the woods or riding around the roads. Reporting for Breeze TV, I'm Paige Ellenberger. The North Pole isn't the only place that has igloos. In fact, these ones you'll have to travel south down 81 to Waynesboro. I checked out a special farm with a warm holiday twist. If you're anything like me, you're probably wondering what these igloos are doing in Virginia. Well, Stable Craft Brewery decided it was time to take a unique turn for the holiday season. <laughs> the list of outdoor things to do in the valley is limited during the colder months. Gabby Samsom and her family traveled to Hermitage Hill Farm for an experience they've never had before. I knew we were coming out here, but not in an igloo, so I dressed really warm. I even had my earmuffs with me, but they said we were in an igloo, so once I got in here, the earmuffs came, came off. The brewery keeps customers flowing in by holding special events all month. Ugly sweater contests, live concerts, decorate a holiday beard, and steal the holiday mug. That one's simple. You buy a beer, you get to steal the glass. Three standard pints, yeah. In uh, the Shenandoah Valley, there's, there's a large number of people that think that, uh, they, that they shouldn't go outside in the winter. And I'm a skier. I grew up in the north. 
I think the season should be embraced and I think we can embrace it. And we took our property and we, we, we decked it out for the holidays. The igloos are $100 to rent, but 65 goes back to your food and drink order. It seats up to eight people comfortably and igloos have a dedicated wait staff for an hour and 45 minutes. I mean, I definitely, I feel like we are very important people right now. It's nice not to wait in the crowd. It's very nice to um, have our own waitress. Um, be out of the cold, out of the crowd, so warm feelings. Reporting for Breeze TV, somewhere outside of an igloo, I'm Paige Ellenberger. Coach and Dr. Chalice McMillan came to the small town tucked in the Shenandoah Valley 48 years ago to start a program the predominantly female Madison College had yet to see. We came in and I got into the uh, line of people signing up for classes and everything and I would talk to the men and tell them that uh, we were going to start a football program and that we were meeting at this particular time to, to let them know about it. Moving 750 miles away with a wife, two babies, and a selective pool of prospective players to choose from wasn't all that easy. I mean, we knew Virginia, but we'd never heard. 